Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial, and today it's on Mario Kart. So this is a fantastic plugin that obviously recreates Mario Kart within Minecraft, and it even comes with a texture pack that downloads automatically. And as you can see, it's very, very awesome. Uh, look at this, so cool. And uh, you can actually use power-ups and things. And there's even a GUI shop. So uh, if we run over here to the signs, you can see that you can buy upgrades here if you have enough money. And uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you can look at your upgrades. I don't have any at the moment. So uh, let's start with the signs to begin with. There's a few you can make. So obviously there is the, uh, the shop. So on the first line, Mario Kart in square brackets. Shop on the second line and very easy. It creates it like that. Um, let's create a lit, um, race list sign so people can see the track. So Mario Kart and list. And when people right click that, it'll list all the uh, tracks that you've created. Uh, there's also a leave sign that's pretty important in case people want to leave. And then there is a queue and join sign, which we will create once we've made the track. So the way you do that is MRA, create the track name, which is going to be YT, and then the amount of laps. So two, I think that'll be all right. Uh, so then we fly over to the lobby. It's going to be on this green uh, block here. You right click, then you go on to the place where you want players to be teleported to once the race is over. Um, and then we're going to want to go over to the, the lane where the cars spawn and just right click without the wand, um, otherwise it will glitch out. So right click uh, the floor, actually, the block where you want the cars to spawn, so I'll just do two because there's only two players, and then right click the, uh, the wand. Then we need to go around with our fist again, uh, creating checkpoints. So try and space these out a bit. Um, these are just a 10 by 10 radius to check the player has actually gone through it and hasn't cheated. Um, so you have to do at least three. And I'm going to put one here and one over here. I think they have to be at least 10 blocks away from each other. That's what I gathered. That's what it said on the uh, bucket page. And it's updated to 1.8. Make sure you have the updated version of Protocol Lib. I'll leave a link to that. It gives you all the versions, which is really useful. Uh, and then right click the stick again once you've done that. And then we need to go to the start finish line. I'll also leave a link to download the map because it, it is a really nice map. I like it. Nice and colorful. Um, so stand at one end and right click the wand, fly to the other end or jump. And there we go. That's how you create a map. So let's create the signs and then we'll have a play on it. So pretty straightforward, Mario Kart, and join, and then the uh, arena name, which is YT. And the Q sign is uh, pretty similar, Mario Kart, Qs, and then YT. So uh, people can join that and they'll queue up for it. Uh, so, before we actually join, you're probably wondering why I've got this golden block and how to create this. Well, the way you do this is you smash into the ground somewhere so it's on the correct height. You put three um, golden blocks down in this L shape and you stick a sign down in the fourth um, empty block. Mario Kart on the top line and items on the second line. I remember when I did um, a tutorial on this, when was it, like a few months ago? Or even longer than that. I didn't actually cover that, but uh, this is how you do it. It's very, very cool. So uh, I'd recommend it. Now I'm going to put another one here because I'm probably going to miss it and I really want to show you it. Because it's a really nice feature. And this plugin is great. And it's also free. Uh, which I know a lot of people will like. There we go. Nice. Let's get stuck in. So guys, I just did a test race and I found out that um, minecarts can't actually go upstairs in this plugin. Uh, so I've had to edit the track a little. I just cut a hole in <laughs> this part but uh, it's all right and I've noticed that the music is exceptionally loud and I might get a copyright strike from Nintendo so hopefully not but uh, we're gonna join it anyway um, and I probably won't talk for the first minute or so uh, because you wouldn't be able to hear me and uh, yeah but the uh, background music's really, really cool and all the sounds and stuff and especially these these are very awesome See, um, that lag spike is because of the texture pack downloading. Yeah, here we go. I'll, I'll stop. Talking. I can even hear it through my headphones. Bomb. Ooh. 
I use this for um, when I get back round. I don't actually remember where the third checkpoint was, or fourth. I think I said four. This might not let me through. Uh, so let's put that down there. Will it let me through? Uh, no, I don't think it will. Let me go to the other checkpoint. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm trying to talk a bit loud. Um, yeah. So this is a very, very cool plugin. Um, really good. No problems with it. Easy to set up. Hopefully that's a checkpoint anyway. If you want to see any particular plugins, comment down below. Uh, someone actually requested this recently. And I'm glad they did because it's a really good plugin. So hopefully this should say I'm on my last lap. There we go. And as you can hear, there is a sound, so red shell. So, I might cheat a little and use um, well that it shouldn't really do that in a race. Um, but yeah, it'd be really useful if I knew where the uh, checkpoints were. Let's just do that. Here we go. Don't need the wand anymore. And let's go around. Oh, I've definitely got a copyright strike for this. Please, Nintendo, have mercy. And I'm about to win. More copy copyrighted music. It's like 8-bit style, so I might I might be alright. And yeah. Because he hasn't moved, he has one minute to complete the race, as in Mario Kart. As if you're losing, you've got to complete the race within a certain time. And he can just click the door and leave if he wants to. Now over here, where I showed you the shop earlier, obviously when you win you get money and you can buy these upgrades. And obviously uh, these, you can use them per race and then they're gone and you have to buy them again. Uh, the config, I've looked at it, it's pretty straightforward. You can change the currency, uh, you might have seen it saying dollars earlier, yeah. And various other things, pretty straightforward. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.